Yeah, one of the calls we got was an ambulance shooting in Van Nuys. This was circa, what, 1978, 79, somewhere in there. <clears throat> and uh, it was mid or toward the evening. And it was right off of Woodley, which is Sepulveda Basin. They have a bunch of golf courses there. And just north of that, apartment complexes, and we come up to this one apartment. Uh, RA hasn't gotten there. The rescue ambulance hasn't, hasn't arrived yet. Knock on the door. And uh, even though it was an ambulance shooting, uh, that call had come out, but we ended up responding first. I believe I was with, again, Rob Lerner. I can't remember. Anyway, we pull up, knock on the door. Female opens up, and what we have are two females. We have two young kids who have shaved, kind of shaved heads, and one of them is sitting on a couch, and you can tell that his whole abdomen is distented, and he's starting to do the speed, what we used to call the Spiegel eye roll. His eyes are starting to go in the back of his head. And what had happened is they were two Marines on leave, they had a case of beer, and they had the two females they were trying to impress. This is a bad combo in anybody's book. And they had a Remington Nylon 22 rifle, which is a semi-automatic rifle, and they were spinning the rifle around, and it was loaded. And as he was spinning around, at some point in time, he cranked off around into the top of his foot. 22 long rifle. Uh, and, you know, it's a lead round and everything else. And it struck the top of his foot, but reversed itself, and all ended up all coming back up uh, through the tibia femur and actually punctured his heart inside. Um, RA gets there, they look at him, this is not good. They take him on a stretcher, we follow because we're gonna have to fill out some kind of a crime report. The girls are crying and everything else. There's not much blood at all, but you could tell this guy was not doing well. And we went to, at the time, Valley Presbyterian Hospital. And I remember going in the doctor because they had a lot of stuff going on that day. The doctor you know, asked me to come in to help out because they were short on staff. Um, I wasn't going to perform surgery, obviously, but they ended up cracking this guy open without any anesthetic, um, holding the heart in, in their hand and sewing it up, trying to, but he, you know, he died anyway. But the one thing that really impressed me is the fact that in wound trajectories, and I see this in a lot of the cases that I've been working on for the last 32 years when I'm looking at autopsy reports and so forth, but gunshot wounds, terminal ballistics, when it comes into the human body, uh, can literally defy logic. Um, so this is a complete 180 degree for whatever reason reversal and this, you know, unfortunately this young Marine succumbed to his own self-inflicted gunshot wound. So a case of beer, two Marines, two young ladies uh, trying to impress him. It is not going to go well and uh, that is something you need to keep in the back of your mind. That is not a good combination in anybody's book.